some of the correspondence that's happening among Boston and New York and Philadelphia does happen privately. Uh, one of the most fascinating, most fascinating things I found in my research was an associate of John Hancock's named William Palfrey, was another Boston merchant. He travels to New York City and Philadelphia in the fall and winter of 1773 to talk to the Sons of Liberty in those places and find out what's going to be the best way for, our, for us to coordinate our protest. So privately, there are things happening uh, within back channels, but publicly, Right? They have to make sure that the, 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 the colonial populace is behind them. Publicly, they are publishing articles in these newspapers. They are republishing each other's articles. They're republishing the resolutions of town meetings that are happening in these different cities. So the newspapers are extremely important for the different American cities to watch one another and see what's going to happen. Peer pressure? I think peer pressure, one of the th arguments I make in Defiance of the Patriots is that peer pressure is one of the major things that motivates the Bostonians to dump the tea in the harbor. They wanted to show the Sons of Liberty in New York City and Philadelphia that they weren't going to back down from the British, which Bostonians had done in the past. Um, and so they're really feeling the pressure from smugglers and tea dealers in New York City and Philadelphia and from people who were just worried about American rights in general. Um, and, you know, and Bostonians are concerned with these issues too. But um, I think one of the things that bucks them up and gives them the courage to dump this tea into the harbor is knowing that there's going to be cheers for what they're doing in New York City and Philadelphia. And of course, the way New York City and Philadelphia are going to find out about that is through the newspapers and through Paul Revere riding into those towns and telling them that this is what's happened.